So either you've just had your nails done or you did them yourself. You did them a little bit shorter, They're looking really good. And then you realized, oh, you forgot. They became thicker when you shortened them. Don't worry, I've got a quick fix. If you're a nail technician, you have a clientele, or you're doing your nails yourself, this will work for both of you. So for a nail technician, we always ask the client if they'd like them shortened, and we do it right out of the gate, usually. You shorten them first because you build the nail around to that, and it's shaped differently on top depending on the length. If you are DIY, you may not know all that stuff, and you might shorten it after, or even if you're just in a hurry and you want to shorten your nails and repolish and go. It makes them thicker. If you build the nail out to the certain length, then you shorten it. Every time you shorten it, the nails are thicker as you go in. At least that's the way they're supposed to be built. So sometimes you just kind of chop them off and you want to repolish and you want to get going, but they do make them thicker underneath. Here's a little hack you can do because technically what you should do, take it all off. And if it's gel polish, it's quite a chore, right? You take all of it off and you have to reshape the whole nail and bring the top down to the bottom to match it out. But we don't have time for that. We're gonna do something really quick to get us by to make it look good and nobody will notice. No one's gonna know. <laughs> okay, so you need a bit inside your um, e-file and you can have this kind of barrel bit or a cone-shaped bit. These bits are included in my bit kit at nailcareer.com. The cone bit is gonna be more for the shape that I have here. If you have a square, this one, is going to be more, but I'm gonna show you both. Okay, so let's get these guys out. Let's go for this one, which is a safety bit. We call it a safety bit because it has that round top and that just protects against your cuticle. Okay, so we're gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna to try to show you, it's gonna be kind of awkward because I need to show it for the upper camera. Okay, so I'm gonna focus on this finger here. And the idea is you're in a hurry. You do not wanna disturb the top layer, which is your gel coat or your nail polish. You just don't want to disturb that because that's where the time comes in to fix it. You don't want to have to do that. So I'm going to try to do this with the camera angles here, but I'm going to place this bit right here and I'm going to press it up into the free edge to make it thinner. So Technically, you should be sh filing it thinner from the top side, but we're cheating it and filing it thinner from the bottom side. So we're just going to stick this bit underneath, place it in there like this. And we're just making that free edge thinner. Now, if you're a nail technician and you're doing this, it may be because the client forgot to mention they want it shorter and you've already done the work and then they mention it after, then you shorten them and of course they become thicker, then you've got no time and you've got to thin it from the underside. That's when this situation can come to light. There you go, let's get a look at that. See how much thinner that is now? That's beautiful. And I will note, I noticed you know my thumb, I did not film. I need to save my hand for a, another video. So I just put the polish on top for the purpose of this video. But look at that, look how much thinner that is. That's where you wanna go. So let me just show you the other bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna focus on this finger. You see how thick that is on the end? Let's turn it upside down like it is. I'm gonna turn this on. Now I've got the cleanup bit, I call it. The other one's called bulk and sculpt. This one's called my cleanup bit, and it's specifically for this. And I'm going, because of the cone shape, it can really fall against that free edge. So I'm focusing on here. Even though you'll see it go, the cone will go right inside of it. It's focusing on this part up high, up here. Oops, I'm going to file my nail. Okay, so I'm going to press into that free edge, and I'm going to go back and forth to create that even removal. I'm just gonna go back and forth and I'm gonna check and see how much thinner I can go. These were quite a bit longer, so when I took the tip off for this experiment, it revealed, you know, how thick a nail can be under there. See, we're getting thinner and thinner. 
I just want to show you the process. Obviously, I could just go really fast and file it right out, but I just really want to slow it down and show you the process. Okay, let's get a look now. Yeah, that's coming. That's more of what we want. Here, let me just get a little duster. See how much thinner that's getting? And I'm just going to thin it out a little bit more. You know, it's all whatever how thin you want to go, but you don't want a thick end. Okay. We want to get rid of all the dust. So we can really see the difference. See the difference on those two nails now? Look at the difference. I spent a little more time on this one. This one could do it a little bit more. I would probably would go with the cleanup bit to be a little bit more, but look how much thinner that is. See, it's a quick little thing you can do just real quick to just take that thickness right out of there. It looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and complete them all so we can have a direct back to back. We can see how this fast little quick fix can really fix it. Look at that. Look how nice and thin that is on the end. And I didn't thin out the whole entire underneath part, just the free edge part, just like a quarter of an inch to get that aesthetic value there. Ooh, that's good. Look how thick they were. We went from that thick to that thin very quickly. Nobody wants thick on the ends of your fingers. We don't want thick nails. Another video I did of taking your gel polish, which can sometimes get thick when you're putting it on top, and it can actually ruin the shape and the design of all that sculpting you did if you did a delicate coffin or a beautiful long stiletto or an almond. Sometimes when you put the gel on top, it makes it thicker because it builds up. But I got a little trick that if you do it this way, it makes it nice and thin and it shows off that beautiful sculpted shape. Check it out.